Week 2 on the Maker's 2D Needle Felting Box, a needle felted butterfly. Hey, it's Pam Duthie and it's a Wednesday so it must be another needle felting supplies and equipment review. Every Wednesday I make videos just like this so if this is something you're interested in don't forget come back every Wednesday. And this is week two of me looking at the Maker's 2D Needle Felting Beginners Box. If you haven't seen my unboxing video it'll be in the cards up above. And just a reminder, although I'm not sponsored for this video, the Makers did kindly send me the box. Um, for me to test it for you. And today I went on to have a go at making this wonderful butterfly. Now I want to talk about what I did wrong and how I would do it differently next time and my thoughts on this but first of all let's have a look at me making the butterfly.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed seeing him come to life. A few little points I want to make here. Firstly, as you'll have seen last week, the kit didn't contain any black, but I don't consider this cheating because of when I checked the maker's website, when you're getting these kits, you can request different colours from them if you want. So I'm going to say, if this is your first ever, ever kit, then black and white are going to be so important, so ask for them. But if you have any other kits or you've been doing any more felting, then black should be a colour that you have. So I just really wanted to use black because it brings out the colours so much nicer in my opinion and it just makes the makes the butterfly as it is. So I don't consider that cheating but the other fibres I used are a beautiful vibrant colours, they're really easy to work with and I was super happy with them and I'm sure if I'd have got black it would have been awesome as well. So to make this I just traced out um, an image I found of a butterfly. I just searched Google images for butterflies and picked the one I liked the best, sized it to the size I wanted, printed it out and I traced it onto the water soluble paper that comes in the kit. Now it does state in the directions to use a pencil to trace this onto the paper but I couldn't find a pencil so I used a roller ball pen. I just wanted to see if the moisture in the pen would make a difference and it traced just perfectly fine. Now a couple of things I learned when making this butterfly. Now I wanted to make him very fine. I'm not sure if you can actually see but the wings are quite translucent. I can see through them a bit. I wanted to do that so this makes it slightly harder. You've got to felt a whole lot more. Um, you probably if you were a beginner here you would want to add about twice as much fibre to have slightly thicker wings and then also your butterfly will hold his shape a little better but I just wanted to see what this would be like. I also obviously made it a little more difficult for myself by felting the coloured shapes first and then filling in with black which this meant that I had to do a lot of felting sort of at an angle to make sure that each of these sections was joined together because otherwise the sections would just pop out, there would be nothing holding them together. So it would be much, much easier to have felted the whole of the bottom wing in the purple and then red, and the top wing in the purple and then blue, and then finishing off with a bit of black at the top. As you can see, when I started working on the top of the, with all these tiny little dots, I realised suddenly it was far easier to do this in solid black and then felt the dots on top and it absolutely is and it would have been better on the bottom to have done the same thing there but you live you learn so that's what I'll suggest if you're going to do this first of all do a solid colour to lay down a nice structure and then add all your fine details in but this worked and I'm really quite pleased with it um, the the water soluble paper works like magic it was very simple to just dunk the butterfly into some water and the paper was gone and it's left no real residue. There's a tiny bit, I don't know if you can see, at the bottom of the butterfly where I just didn't leave them in long enough but that's not a big deal at all. But overall really easy to use and I am so pleased with the result, so vibrant and pretty and actually I'm going to say this is one of the better needle felting butterflies that I've seen because quite often they're really thick and chunky, maybe have been done on some pre-felt. So the water soluble paper was super easy to use. I used their medium felting needle which worked perfectly and onto the pad as well that came from the kit which I have no complaints about either, it held up perfectly. So, so far, so good. I'm really enjoying working with a maker's kit. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be working some more with this kit next week, so don't forget to come back and see what I'm up to. Click on my wee face to subscribe and check out the first video of the maker's kit here. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next week.